That was, was uh, yeah, she was hot. Kayla Rivera, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, one thing about the Beehive, they are going to support Beyonce no matter what. So I thought it was amazing to see how they formed an alliance and made a commitment to not stream the album so they don't essentially rob that moment of her. Um, and as far as Khalees, you know, I understand her frustration, but, you know, I don't think it's with Beyonce. I'm here live at the BET Hip Hop Awards in Atlanta. I will be talking to some of hip hop's biggest names along with some of Atlanta's finest. Hey everyone, I am the only Kayla and I am at one of the city's high hottest events tonight. Hot 107.9 is celebrating 25 years of hip hop in the ATL. Premio Lo Nuestro is bringing the heat to Miami. The Latin award show is slated to air this Thursday on Univision at the FTX Arena. Guys, I'm so happy to be back performing in my hometown, but also a lot of the people who are here today are excited to be back because the National Puerto Rican Day Parade took a two year hiatus due to COVID-19 pandemic. I want to drop an album that people with, you know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. What's next for you? Just keep working, just uh, keep grinding, stay humble and keep going. Generation is powerful right now. From the visuals, the way they make their videos, how creative and colorful they are. Hey, Money Bag, congratulations on the unveiling today of your latest exhibit. Tell me, how does it feel to have your own exhibit along with some of the biggest legends in the rap game? Well, I feel good to be in this building. In this golf tournament, um, like I said, for years. Uh, do you think you might switch it up? next year or in the coming years with maybe a different sport? Oh, definitely. Yeah, we definitely want to do uh, maybe some basketball, baseball. You and also opened up about being addicted to opioids. Yeah. When did that start for you and what was it exactly? That started for me, I would say, when I first entered the music industry. I just had personal pains and problems. The dry cleaner can do their thing. Kayla Rivera, Atlanta, Georgia. You know, I think everything happens for a reason. You know, I know sometimes everything wants to be perfect, but, you know, sometimes that's just the beauty in it. And I think that also speaks to their pre-wedding dinners and how excited and nervous they were. Maybe that's what caused the stomach bug. Who knows? But um, I'm sure it was definitely worth it because their wedding was absolutely beautiful. It was beautiful. Do you identify with your character, Zach? Are there any similarities, would you say, if any? Yeah, Zach kind of reminds me of when I first retired from the NFL. How important was it for you to be um, um, in a part of this film and a part of an all-black cast? Oh, that's, you know, those that are my followers, like, they know I'm always supporting black. As a journalist, why do you think it's so important to humanize these rappers? I think it's extremely important to humanize these rappers because, first of all, they are valuable members of their community. How in the world... Damn. Did Aventura and Bad Bunny come together to create Volvi? Like, who reached yeah. out to who? What was that like? Nah, yeah, um, Talk to I, me. I, I want to know the details. Nah, man, it was uh, it, it's a cool story. How accurately <clears throat> do you think the show depicts dating in Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> I, you want a percentage? Tell me about Life in Plastic Part 3. Um, you know, it was released a few weeks ago. How excited are you to see such a such an uh, impact and just like the genuine support that you're getting from this um, project? Um, at first, I was a little shocked. What was your first big purchase? When you started, the money started coming in. What was your first big purchase? Um, you know, when those streams started coming in from Whoopi? <laughs> <laughs> Probably my chain, probably my first chain. I got my first chain probably like early on. Um, How much did you it was, drop? It was my CJ piece. I think it was like 15, 20. So for those of you that don't know, or for those of you who have not tuned in yet, I Love a Mama's Boy is basically just that. Okay, and during this season, both seasons, which Shakeb is in, it follows his unusual relationship with his mother. So, Shakeb, do you want to talk a little bit more about the show? Right. It's a, it's a great show. Mic check, mic check. Can I get a yurt? Ew. <laughs> Gotta say yurt. Yurt. <laughs> you yes. are uh, going again, Stan Carpensi. Yes. Uh, okay, tell me, how are you feeling right now? Uh, it's a few days away. I'll be the co-main event. So I'm blessed. Some of the biggest rappers today, you know, yeah. competed with URL. But you guys also have a lot of celebrity involvement. Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about that because I saw you guys at 
Chris Brown's mansion. I know Drake is involved with you guys too. So uh-huh. what is that like getting, you know, the respect and getting the support from, you know, people like that? The Smack started out with the Smack DVDs back in the day. You play Uncle Clifford, which is a fan favorite of the show. Um, the way we saw season one end was where um, Elarica's character, Haley, um, she said something very powerful. She said, um, I owed you, now you owe me. How are we going to see that uh, play out in season two? And what did she mean by that without giving away too many details? I don't know what it meant, you know, and I don't think she know what it meant, you know. Dime, ¿cómo se siente a representar para Colombia? Super bien, eh, muy contento de que estamos llevando la bandera. Rocian, ¿cómo te siente a ser uno de los hosts de los premios y también ser nominado a dos premios en la misma noche? Ojalá gane. Yeah. Tú vas a cantar en los premios con artistas más importantes. ¿Cómo te sientes tener esta oportunidad? Pues mira, este super, me siento súper agradecido de poder formar parte pues, de estos premios. Did you know that Bad Bunny has a 90-10 contract? So basically what that means is Bad Bunny is taking home 90% of his revenue from music and streams. In less than 24 hours, NABO super middleweight champion Edgar Berlanga will take center stage against two-time title challenge Alexis Angulo in the 10-round main event at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Thousands of fans are slated to gather Saturday night to watch Berlanga take the top spot on the eve of New York's Puerto Rican Day Parade.